networks are really important. I call it the intersection or the core of big data. It's where applications and hardware basically meet. So networks, they're crucial to analyze, manage, transport, and compute big data. So they're, uh, they're basically, there's several places, whether inside the cluster or inside a compute system, and also ancillary networks, or they're not ancillary, they're important, in the data center. So a lot of times when we see a big data deployment, they'll be in a Hadoop cluster or other compute systems. They'll be, it's a compelling event in a data center where there'll be other network opportunities such as data distribution networks and REN networks, research and education networks, carrying uh, large data sets, not only cross country across the world, but also computing them, analyzing them. What's going on out there, big data is essentially, you know, there's three types of data. There's structured, semi-structured, and unstructured. And unstructured is 80% of the data today. I mean, 90, think of it this way, 90% of the compute data ever manufactured or produced in the world has happened in the last two years. I think there's something like 90% of the photos ever taken in the history world have been taken in the last two or three years. So what's going on with that is just the ability of legacy IT systems to actually manage that data and take advantage to uh, compute and analyze the large data sets. The, the legacy systems tend to be um, batch based. I mean, they're not doing real time data analytics. So um, they need some type of upgrade in their infrastructure. And in my belief, or our belief at Brocade, is that is done incrementally or modular. That they're not gonna go in and gut their, their IT infrastructure for a big data deployment that it has to actually fit in in a modular fashion to their current environment. Actually, I'll use a case study of my own company. We, we recently have done some big data deployments. And when you say big data, big data is a big marketing word, a trend, but in real life, where, when the rubber hits the road, the term you might hear is data value, analytics initiative, um, business intelligence, basically using big data to be more productive or efficient in your environment for your company. So it's not necessarily IT driven, it's departmental driven. So in, in our case at Brocade, we had our manufacturing department they wanted to have an analytics deployment to better do digital manufacturing, to be more efficient and to be more competitive. And the thing is, it was departmental driven. So the department actually drove it. It wasn't IT. So they had to go to IT for the fulfillment. So the challenge is, where do you go to start an analytics deployment and where does the company start? So in our company, they called me and there's so many vendors out there. You know, I had to give direction. There's a whole slew of new applications companies because what big data really is, a, a definition is that it's uh, data sets that are too large for uh, current, the ability for current uh, software applications like SQL to, um, to manage or analyze. So what they're doing is, um, where do they are? There's so many companies out there, they're looking for direction. And so uh, what we have to do is be flexible and adaptable to, to uh, work with the current IT environments to manage that. And again, the IT department, I mean, they're usually getting it, they're usually the last to know. It's the department who's driving that big data initiative or analytics initiative in a company.